Yo, what's up? This is George Moss. And I'm Beacon Light. There was this one like event that was kind of like an open mic thing. And I just remember you were performing and I did like maybe three songs. And then your drummer came up to me and he was like, hey, that was actually good, good job. And I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> and then, it was like one of my first performances. And the rest of history. And then we just, I think that was the first time I saw him, and I saw him at another event, and then eventually we just Yeah, I don't, I don't even remember it. I think it just, it's cause it's always been. One big thing that I've learned from George is, is that like, I think he leads by example really well. Even just recently, like this, I mean, kind of outside of the music piece, but um, at his wedding. And I wonder so, where he's going with this video. <laughs> so it, his kiss with his wife was their first kiss that they ever had. That just speaks of his integrity, because most people that doesn't happen to, you know? Honestly, even just outside of music, that has been a huge thing, just to see another example of a man who is really living his life out. And I mean, what single guy that you know is like living pure like that, for real, you know, to the point where you're not even kissing your fiance or your girlfriend. So I, I think that, that that's a huge example. For me, I mean, we have music talks all the time and like talk about different ministry and business strategy and stuff like that, but really, like, I think it's been cool just to see his example of just following Jesus. And I feel like that's what God has called us to do. He's called us to create disciples of him, but I think that's the whole idea of mentorship as well. Like. KJ kind of took me under his wing. I learned so much some stuff from KJ. So it's like, it only, it's only right for me to even pour that into somebody else. So all the things that I'm learning from KJ and doing myself and learning from trial and error, I'll pour into Beacon. And the Beacon is also pouring into other artists like Stephen Malcolm um, that he's got like under him. So it's one of those things is like, whenever you are given something, God doesn't give you things for you. He gives you things to bless other people. In fact, I was talking to uh, to be right last night. He was looking for people to help him with his his record and help him with his music and his career. And he didn't have his manager and things like that. And he was like, God was telling him, it's like, instead of looking for people to help me, help me, help me, God was really telling him, it's like, how can you help other people? And that's one of the revolutionary things that I've found in my career, in my, my music and everything that I do in the ministry that I do is not how much I can get help from other people and what I can try to get other people to help me do is how much can I give to other people? Because what you can give to other people is really what is the value that you have to offer this world. So that's my advice to any you know, up and coming artist. It's like, it's not about trying to get me to help you do something. Like if you're gonna come to someone, you wanna figure out how, how can you help them? How can you pour into them? Help the people that are right in your influence because by helping them, by helping Beacon, I've been able to better myself because now I have to do what I just said to him. And right, sometimes it's easy to tell people what to do. They're like, oh man, I should be doing that too. And then you, um, it just helps yourself in the process. So I think it's just the whole idea of like, what God gives you, you should be giving it to other people. And it's the whole idea of being a follower of Jesus is being a blessing to people, not always trying to look to get a blessing. Thank you, Light Show.